Cause I'm back again. I'm, I'm, I'm reading Hit the like it. button, fool. What up, everybody? It's your favorite rapping expedite, T Swin. So, as you see on the title, it says, uh, This is some BS, Shicey Dispatches. So, um, a couple days ago, I got contacted by one of the uh, carriers I run up under sometimes. And uh, how they contact me is usually by phone or text message. So they sent me a text about a load coming out of Houston, Texas, going to Pecos, Texas. You know, uh, uh, this is what the message said. Uh, load, Houston, Texas, Pecos, Texas. One pallet, 550 loaded miles. 570 loaded miles. And uh, that's all it said. So I put in my bid. I won the load. And so I was out in the box, so I had to go back to the house and go pick up my van. So I can go uh, start going to the pickup. I get to the pickup. I got the information. Uh, it says some company. The company title got fluid in the name. So it, I can tell it was an industrial company. You know, company. You know, so I get there. And there's a bunch of other companies around it. So I drive around. And I see an open bay door. And it's got a bunch of totes in there. And, you know, they got, you know, it's hazmat. You know, you know some of them got, you know, corrosive on them. Some of them got a uh, uh, flammable. You know, uh, carcinogen, all kind of stuff. So I drive past, and then I finally locate the building that I'm supposed to go to, and it was that building with the open bay door. So I come back around, and there's a guy standing outside. He got a forklift with him. So you know, I chop it up with him, and come to find out, I'm getting this tote. I'm loading the tote. Uh, the tote weighs 2,520 pounds, right? I'm looking at it. It's got a, uh, it's got the carcinogen symbol on. It. You know, so uh, I load it up, I haul it, but the reason why I said some BS is because they didn't give me all the information on it when I made my bid, you know what I'm saying, uh, if I would have known it was hazmat from the get-go, my bid would have been higher, you know, so the dispatch won by leaving out information, you know what I'm saying, so you gotta be, you gotta watch out for these guys. That's why, that's why a lot of times I like to get stuff under my own authority and uh, talk to these brokers myself and uh, talk to these businesses myself. So I know what it is. Because as you know, to carry hazmat, you have to have the endorsement. And if it weighs a thousand and one, if it weighs over a thousand and one pounds, you need plastic. So when freight got delivered. But uh, that load could have easily paid, uh, from my knowledge of what I be seeing, maybe $1,500 to $2,000. You know what I'm saying? Uh, watch yourself with these shots and dispatches. Because you may, you know, they, they, they lie. They trying to get the most money they can from, off a phone call while you do all the physical work. So watch out. You know? Sometimes they may tell you that it weighs this much. You get there way more, or be more pieces than what they said. You know. Uh, and a lot of times, a lot of times I, I can find out about these things. But sometimes these loads be posted other places, so I can see it, you know more information on it. But this load wasn't posted anywhere else uh, that I could see or locate. You know what I'm saying? So there wasn't. A, I wasn't able to get any information off of it other than what was told to me initially. You know? So that's just it, man. Just, you know, watch out for these dispatchers, man. Dispatchers and brokers. They trying to they trying to make the most money they can to give you the least amount of money so you can keep working. So you got T Swin, I'm out. You ain't gonna do nothing with it, so put it in my hands. Had a vision in my dream, and then I put it in my plans. I took a couple grand, and then I put it in the van. Moving away from state to state, that's how your boy became a man. You ain't gonna do nothing with it, so put it in my hands. Had a vision in my dream, and then I put it in my plans. I took a couple grand, and then I put it in the van. Moving away from state to state, that's how your boy became a man. Pops riding shotgun, me, I'm behind the wheel. When you see me on the phone, yeah. I'm behind the deals, sending texts and emails, chase the money, not the females, go over all the contracts and every minor detail. She laughing at me.